Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the men's room. I am your host, Newton Downey Jr., and it's Super Bowl week. And I have to tell you, folks, I'm, I might not watch it this year. Sorry, I get emotional about this because I care about it so much. But we'll get into it. But we should start with our, our sponsors. First off, Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men. Uh, they're back as a sponsor. Personally, I'm not allowed to go to Lay Jane's Haircuts for Men's for the time being, but if you were to go to Lay Jane's Haircuts for Men's, they will give you a beautiful haircut, uh, a, a shave, a lather. I'm not allowed to say, let's just say it's a beautiful haircut, okay? I'm not allowed to say anything else, but I, let me say this, that the, uh, the women that do the cutting, they don't disappoint. Let's just say you won't need our next sponsor, which is Roman's Erection Pills. Romans makes erection pills for men that come in a discreet packaging. You'll get them at your house. Uh, you'll get them, and actually, Romans actually introduced a new product, and this is a great one. I don't have this problem, but many men do. It's the reverse of, uh, of the erection pill. Well, they don't like to call it erection pills, but it's discreet. They also have a new product where it's a wipe, so you can wipe the tip of your, uh, you know, your throwing arm, and uh, that way you can last a little bit longer. If you have troubles in bed uh, with the missus, you, we always say, you know, when, when you take the Roman's erection pills, the missus is going to be happy. But what if you have the opposite problem? Here, this way, it's a, it's a discreet wipe. You're in bed with the missus, and you say, hold on one second, hon. I just need to blow my nose. And you open up a Kleenex, right? <laughs> and then you take the Kleenex out, and they go... But actually, you rub your, you know, you rub your throwing arm with it, and it numbs, it numbs it. So that's why you can actually perform quite a bit longer because you can't feel the, uh, you know, the intimacy that you're having. And finally, I'm pleased as punch to announce we got a new sponsor, and it is a big one. Okay, we all know, we've all been gambling for years. You know me, Newton, Newton Downey Jr. gives you the lines every single week, but. Now, online gambling is a real takeoff industry. You could do it almost every state. And we got a new sponsor. I got to start with a mea culpa. I thought Jake Paul, Logan Paul, these guys are wieners, right? They're freaking wieners. They go on YouTube, they're eating Captain Crunch, telling millions of kids to jump off roofs or whatever. But then I saw this guy knock out a freaking NBA player with his bare fist, okay? And then I thought, this guy's kind of cool, okay? He might be kind of sweet. Then I see him fighting somebody else. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right, this guy's kind of a man, okay? I might have a beer with this guy. And it turns out that Logan Paul has revolutionized the online betting industry with the, uh, and this, this term's news to me, but it's called microtransactions. You can now, okay, we all know the Super Bowl's here, you can do prop bets. Everybody does prop bets. Uh, $50,000 on what, uh, who wins a coin toss? How long is a me, Anita Baker gonna be singing America the Beautiful? Three minutes, 15 seconds. Logan Paul's a genius, and he created a situation where you can microtransact the entire Super Bowl football game by betting on every play. Uh, who wears the home team's jersey? Uh, what play they're going to run? How many yards is this guy going to have? You, folks, when I was watching the AFC Championship, I bet I bet 600 different microtransactional bets within that three and a half hour span. And let me tell you, folks, it is sweet if you know what you're doing. So it's called Better, and I love the name. I got, and again, I, I always thought Logan Paul was a weenie, but now I'm realizing this guy's pretty cool because better has two different meanings. It's like better as in uh, this is a better way to gamble, but then it, it switches it on you, and then it's like, but you're the better. You know what I'm saying? You're the guy who's doing the betting better. So that was pretty sweet, and I'm really happy to have them on board. I can't wait. If I was actually going to watch this gosh darn thing, I would use better. Cut, cut, cut. Now we get to the Super Bowl, and folks, we have uh, <laughs> we have one of the most disappointing matchups I've ever seen. 
in the Super Bowl. I have to be honest with you. I, the NFL, the NFL has no class anymore. We are facing down a Super Bowl with the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. And what do you, you at home are probably looking at too, like, what? Who are these people? No names? Okay. Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts. He got benched. He got benched in the national title game for <laughs> to Ali Koka. And that guy, that guy spent so much time on his head getting concussions, he might as well be a break dancer. This guy's a loser. And his opponent is a freaking showboat ballerina. Okay, Patrick Mahomes does not have the class, the sensibility, the game management that a Ben Roethlisberger, uh, Tom Brady, these guys, that was the end of an era. I feel like I'm freaking, I feel like I'm freaking uh, Frank Sinatra watching Sinead O'Connor tear the picture of the Pope up right now watching this Super Bowl. It's disgusting. Please allow me the soapbox to just say this game has lost its class. It's lost its gamesmanship. It's lost its... This used to be like war strategy. You used to have people thinking these things through. Fourth dimensional chess. We used to have Aaron Rodgers came, huh, figuring out league rules saying, I'm immunized. I'm not vaccinated. Now he's so hopped up on cuckoo bills and doing K-holes, he can't even figure out if he's gonna come back to Green Bay. This guy wants to go to New York. What's he thinking? I, I, I'm not allowed to hold the mic, but this is me where I'm going, fuck, nope. I'm not allowed to do it, but I'm so worked up about this Super Bowl. And you know what? I hate to say it, but this is the Super Bowl. After Tom, After Tom was gone, this is the Super Bowl that the refs wanted to happen. Okay, and I hate to say it, but Roger Goodell, you've lost the through line. You need to come back to earth, and you need to you need to start listening to the fans because ever since, and I'm not trying to get political here, but ever since these guys were allowed to start doing dances where they're signing the ball after they score a touchdown or put on sunglasses, things have gone downhill. There is, these guys, I mean, back in the day, a guy like Brett Favre would break his hand. He'd go to the locker room. He'd take up, he'd take up a, a drink, a swig of whiskey, maybe take a couple pills, and he'd come back out there. His dad died, and he threw 400 passes or 400 yards. Meanwhile, I'm watching the game got so freaking soft now, they're taking people off the field for regular tackles. I'm watching this. DeMar, DeMar Hamlin is just sleeping on the field after a freaking normal tackle. It's disgusting. This game has gotten so freaking soft. I mean, I straight bet. I wish I was old enough to watch them play without helmets. I miss the days, and thankfully, one of my favorite movies outside of Draft Day with Kevin Costner, I love it. Outside of that was Leatherheads. That movie's really funny and really actually interesting. It tells you a lot about history. And I just, I watched that movie and I was like, I felt to myself like I wish I was watching movies back then. The game has lost something. And with that, I urge you, the fan, eat all the nachos you want. Do whatever you need to do on this day to celebrate. My producer. But please, please don't subject yourself to this. Bet on it, gamble on it, and trust my car, car, house, lock for the Super Bowl. You can bet your car, you can bet your wife's car, and you can bet your house that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win this disgraceful Super Bowl. We got Philly fan. We got fly Eagles fly. I hear it from the back. So what, maybe one of the light people. <laughs> this is what brings me back. Super Bowl.
Okay, sorry folks, I thought we were done, but I forgot my, uh, my sister had, uh, I'm sorry, we had a special guest, and my sister wanted me to interview my nephew, uh, Crispin. Yo, yo, you know what time it is, this is Crispin, I'm here to let you know that if you want to be a hustler like me, I was balling out this year over 200 makeouts, y'all, and if you want to be a baller like me, just go to crispin.com. Uh, forward slash free trial and you know how it is uh, learn how to be a hustler learn how to get your hustle on and, and you and get with those makeouts y'all so peace <laughs> is that online gambling because we already have an online gambling sponsor this is the marketplace of sexuality and if you want to get red pills like me you know you know I'm made in with some high value uh, senioritas y'all so for that hustler mindset, for hot tips, hot tricks, you get over 10 tips per day directly to your email. Just go to crispin.com forward slash hustler forward slash free trial. That, that's good on the men's room. That place on the men's room. Okay, that's for you guys. Get Roman. Get Crispin. <laughs> oh, 10 chicks for tips and chips.